You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Not honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um, well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery. Above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family, my wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I, I couldn't do what I do. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
right there. I was right there. Gotta help him. Now. Take that arm. Shooting you, Tom. So we answered them. Yeah, Yo, Kyla. 
to leave now Dad 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 no! Wake up, Dad. Wake up. Wake up. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry, it's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry, I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. started looking for Martin Lee yet? No, I told you I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence, right. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Huh, sounds a little far-fetched. What is coming from a guy who can run up walls? Three. 
We have a hostage situation involving a bus full of civilians. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Almost there. One more box should do it. Gotcha. from Fisk's armory. Truck bombs? This is crazy. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait. These are Osborne campaign offices. Lots of high-tech equipment. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job.
consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. He's not out here. Better check inside. These guys aren't kidding around. Good thing I stopped this when I did. You could blow up half of Manhattan with this stockpile. from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What else can I find around here? This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. Just 
one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Nice. Did you find me? No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rise. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. <laughs> Copy, Silverbird. We're descending to location. There's another one. Safety's off. Well, this is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this... Who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverburn. Nice entrance. Solid 8 out of 10. Nine out of 10. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this, and what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. Missed another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. 
I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe in here. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. A key. Wonder where the lock is. Lee sounds conflicted. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Creepy. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. One more. Police had found this. Or 
May. I don't want to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! What the? Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Cool. See ya. Wait! Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know, bad boys aren't my type. Found you. Why are you doing this, Felicia? You know I'm gonna catch you. Hey, Doc. Sorry about that. What's up? Parker! Exciting news. Come by the lab. Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. 
situation in Koreatown. Patrol, checkpoint under assault. It's the demons. Folks, I have to once again defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package. Change! Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need... Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on... Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have... You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were, when we can make them better? Okay. I think that should do it. Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. 
Could be a short. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Missed call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I missed your call. Are we still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. I've just received an update on Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. The Vulture. Apparently, this winged criminal has fallen ill with cancer. 
and he's been moved to the RAF's infirmary for treatment, which will undoubtedly cost a fortune in public funds. Now let me ask you, why do we even have an infirmary at the RAF? It's a supermax prison, full of maniacs. If they get sick, let nature take its course. Now I realize that's harsh, but so is my tax bill. Spider-Man, the situation's under control. We're making our way over from Pier 4 now. Show us about eight minutes. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. Pigeon alert! It's getting away. Nothing like putting my skills to good use. Dang it! Peter! You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really yeah, paying the boss? boss yeah, we built Need to get into that office. Lee finances the boss's new venture. Win-win. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. 
boss sees that, he'll be pissed. So what's the boss doing with the money from this Lee job? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. Did you try any yet? Vehicle needs tires this big. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Hey, what was that? Maybe I can distract him. Rave dust must have me on edge. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? What is this? Some kind of military office must be to my right. There. Need to move careful through here. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? It won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. A disappointment. <laughs> and now I need a new welder. This is what they're building for Lee. But here we... 
GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear from my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. The Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Financial officer at Oscorp, single, known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners! Uh, sounds good! Okay, see ya, partner. Police look like they could use some help. There's probably more of them inside. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. 
Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. I could have sworn I parked on this level. You guys work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement! Fight! A for effort! The elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Okay, almost there. Stay out of the light. Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. T 
He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. Lights out. <laughs> Good one, Pete. Clear. Hope Standish is all right. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information on a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! <laughs> come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <gasps> Almost got him! Try to fall slower! Gotcha! You okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. 
I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. I'll let you know what I find on Delaney. Bomb on the bus? What is it called? Fastness, super quick. No, nah, that wasn't it. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely. Just got a call about a suspicious looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project. Yeah, I know. Budget crisis. Yada, yada, yada. So, uh, will you please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real life projects. Attention agents in Rosevale. This is Control. What's your status? Need reinforcements and outpost spot truck. We're taking fire. I should finish listening to Doc's message. Sorry to call so late. My mind's burnt. Hmm. Looks military grade. Weird. Spider Man. So you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is can you stop the bombs I've planted? This computer's tracking bombs around the district, and they're about to go off. I gotta move. These bombs aren't gonna defuse themselves. Okay, took care of that one. One more. So 
close to perfection. Nice work with the bombs, but you lean into your throat too much. Hurts the accuracy. Is this some kind of sick game to you? Games are for kids, and I'm a professional, and I get paid like it. Guess your client wasted their money. Sometimes information's worth more than money, and I've learned plenty watching you. MJ, what did you find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the picture I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. Guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Good thing I already have a costume. Ground team, this is Naval Control. What's our status at the yard? Control, our APC is under attack by demons. Finish listening to Doc's message. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. is one of my greatest foes. Let's find out which one. Everyone's in costume. My people. Now there's a guy who puts in the effort. Dr. Delaney is here somewhere. I have to find hey, him before leaving. Are you Dr. Delaney? Oh, oh Spider-Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time. <coughs> oh no, smoke. Whatever will I do? This is the end for you, Spider-Man. Now I have you. Hey, what's wrong with you? I worked on that helmet for a week. I need to find Dr. Delaney. He's out in the party somewhere. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Smart ass. Throwing down candy could be Dr. Delaney. Gotta find a way up there. Eat! Eat my little children! Can't use my webs. I'm looking for Isaac Delaney. I think he's on the dance floor. There he is! The lizard in the lab coat. It's Spider Boy! Isn't some one of your nemesis? We gotta uh, fight! Maybe later. Oh, what's the matter, Spider Wimp? You afraid of my mighty horn? Hey, hey who, what, what are you. Come on! Hey! 
What you want? This is a joke, right? Those aren't real guns. Back now. <laughs> Let him go. Everybody okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, happy Halloween. How about some mood lighting? Where'd they take Delaney? recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do, you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Show's over, Lee! Apparently the show's not over. His name, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you.
That's all of them. Gotta find Lee. Yuri, I need your help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. 